everyone. Thanks for hanging in there with me and being patient. I'm sorry it's not 830, but we are so glad that you're here. And um, you can see I'm at Kaufman House, the home of Kipcor. And I'm just gonna walk up the sidewalk here. And I'm gonna let you see the lovely foliage. It's a gorgeous end of fall day. And you know, I'm coming up here and oh my goodness, who hey. is sitting on the porch? Hey, Cheryl. But our beloved, if I can get you to focus, there I am. John McCabe Yankee. Yes. Hello, everybody. And John is visiting, you know, and we want to, um, you know, come on in and let's, let's chat. Okay. Let's chat here. And so anybody who's stopping by today, just so you know, they're going to share about why Kip Core is so special. So we're walking in the door and John, I just want to check in with you and you know, I know that you had a story that you wanted to share about Kip Core. Yes. And why don't you okay. share from your perspective? All right, yeah. Hi, everybody. It's great to be here. Uh, Cheryl has worked at resolving her uh, issues with the Apple Corporation <laughs> in good you're gonna, conflict you're resolution gonna, You're going to get me in trouble here with the Apple uh, people. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, did I say it? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I have actually been the beneficiary of KIPCOR in a number of ways. I mean, most recently when uh, we were teaching. And since we're at a distance, I'm going to pull my mask okay. off because uh, my glasses are fogging. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yes, most recently... Um, I was uh, an instructor for the freshman course uh, first year experience, mm -hmm. and we were studying The Hate You Give, which deals with some very difficult issues related to race relations, especially related to like uh, police officers' uh, violence towards people of color. And uh, we knew we were going to have some difficult conversations with students, and so we engaged Kip Core to help us learn the circle process. And maybe when Christine comes later, she'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, but at any rate, it, uh, it was so helpful to have a process for all the instructors to be able to work through these difficult issues. Um, but going further back, uh, one of mm. my, one of my um, passions uh, in my career at Bethel College has been to work with prison theater. Um, and this actually started in the year 2000. So it's a 20 year long journey for me. Uh, but it was a sabbatical. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It was a sabbatical. I went to uh, Lansing Correctional Facility and helped develop for them uh, a prison theater workshop. And so that was my first time it was an amazing experience, um, and as a result of that experience, when we got back, uh, Raylene Heinz-Penner, who had also been doing some uh, writing teaching in prison, and I, um, started thinking about how could we continue this, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. and that's where KIPCOR entered the picture. Um, KIPCOR, um, with, under the leadership of Gary Flory at that time, and uh, Offender Victim Ministries um, in, in Newton. And Bethel started to collaborate on ideas about how we could have an ongoing prison arts project. And as a result of that conversation then, I was able to work uh, more consistently as I had time um, to get into the prison to do this kind of work. And wow, it's amazing work. I want to I want to show everybody the poster from the project. Um, we're gonna walk down the hall here. So this is like our wall. We have a little, you know, uh, bulletin board, and we have some other posters that are from previous engagements there. But here is the poster from the prison arts symposium that John is referring to, and. Um, that was in 2002. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is that is a good while back. But that prison 
um, program is still in, it's still happening. And um, even though John has retired, I know that um, they're carrying on with that because it is wildly popular with our students and many of our faculty and staff and the Bethel community support it. So with that, thank you, John, for sharing that. And then do you want to accompany me to uh, check out sure. something here? Sure. We're going to walk into, and we're, we're socially distanced here, going to walk into the training room here because this is where the magic happens. And I'll share more about that in the next, um, in the next spot that we do. But I know many of you are wondering because you're like, Hey, this Kip Corathon, you know, it's a fundraiser. So what are we, how much are we, how much have we raised? Some people got up early this morning and contributed. And I'm happy to say, here is our first total of the day. All right, you ready? If I can get, my, get it in focus here. We are at, oh, it's backwards, isn't it? $1,145 is what that total is. I didn't think about that when I put it up on the board, but um, we'll correct that the next time. So I'll have to learn how to write backwards by the time we get together again. I believe in you, Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, I will report back to you in the next couple hours so look for me on live. I'll be on time next time, I promise. Hello, you know, problems with, you know, some people, but, you know, the Apple people, but we won't go into that. Anyway, I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you for tuning in, and we will be back soon. It's Kip Corathon again. <laughs> We're a tenth of the way there, more than that. So give to Kip Cor. And if you haven't checked out our Kip Cor video, you should go back through our post and look at that. Yeah, it tells great. you everything you want to know about KIPCOR, all the programming, some people who've been here, just all the different things that we do. So we'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.